officials led by Deputy Vice Governor si Sir uh, Hilario Tanso, ang aming uh, Secretary Kapatid sa Reform Arm now, si Secretary Jamar at si Secretary Nur Saada, ang aming mga local government unit partners po, si uh, Mayor, uh, si Mayor natin, yeah. Abdullah Kampong, sir, and uh, ang ating District Supervisor, and Vice Mayor ng ating North OP, si Jojo, sir, uh, EA Crescencio, and ating mga supervisors, mga teachers po, mga tribal leaders, si Mang Fatima, chairman namin sa OSCC, kapatid sa media, uh, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, nandito po ako bilang isang uh, uh, isang ka, uh, kasangga ni Brother Assemblyman Mokodev Dionato sa ating advocacy for indigenous people's rights. Uh, Nag-aral po ako luckily sa isang universidad kung saan nakikinig po ako ng mga kulintang at iba't ibang indigenous instruments kontra gapi po ang grupo na yon. Isa pong grupo ito na after classes po at uh, after my college classes talaga pong pumupunta po ako sa aming faculty center kung saan sumasayo po at kumakanta at nagsasalita ng poetry ang mga college students in testament and in respect to our indigenous tradition. Sa kinalakihan kong ito sa kolehya dahil ako ay isa pong katutubong uh, isang batang lumaki sa is hindi sa Pilipinas, doon ko po na-appreciate an outsider coming into my culture, the indigenous culture, of how important it is to my Filipi Filipino roots, my Bangsamor roots, my indigenous roots. Ito pong kapatid namin, si Regional Governor uh, Mujib Hataman, ay isang yakan. Ako ay isang Maranao. Nagsama-sama po kami sa isang grupong called Moro Youth Movement sa Metro Manila. Doon po sa pagmumulat namin sa pagmamarginalisa ng aming mga kabataan doon sa Metro Manila, nakita ko po kung ba paano isang bata na anak ng isang bajaw or sama ay linalakad lang po ang ating Pasay City or kung saan saan ang road sa Makati Avenue na minsan ay uh, naawa na lang tapo tayo kasi minsan yung katawan ng babae nakikita po dahil ang pinapagsuso ay ang anak para lang po maawa ang ating mga kababayan na magbigay ng pera. Ito po ba ay kasalanan natin because of lack of educational upliftment po. So, our emotional attachment to this issue when the reform arm movement came into into the uh, OIC ship, into passing also the RA-10153 and lobbying for that, yung ating pagpaspon ng arm elections sa May 2013, is born out of a belief that indigenous peoples and our people here in Bangsamora homeland deserve a special place in this national polity. What is the framework agreement of Bangsamora? To my understanding, when we beg for national government to give us that money that we deserve, that is not government. When we have to go to Metro Manila to defend our budget, when we have to defend it to secretaries and to congressmen, and have to give some of our items to congressmen who are hungry for political positions, that is not government. That is not government. And when you, indigenous peoples, our brothers, have to beg for your items, that is not government. So what is government? Government is yours for you to take and for you to claim. Our Constitution and our Organic Act and all international documents guarantee the right of children, the right of people to education, primary po sa lahat ng hierarchy of rights, whether religious, whether spiritual, whether moral, economic rights. Education has a special, special provision in the Philippine constitutions, Philippine constitution. And for us to fight for this issue of education over IP people is our recognition that the Bangsamora people, the Muslim majority, should not discriminate. Because now is the time to show that if Moro people deserve that future government, ipakita po nila na kahit sino man, especially po yung namarginalisa na for several decades, ay maprioridad na po ang ating indigenous people, brothers and sisters. For it is in our indigenous traditions, we who are not, who are not exposed to the indigenous tradition, that we can learn so much from you. How many of our elders, how many of our family members have been healed by your medicine, by your herbal medicine? How many of us have been healed by your poetry and remembering our memories through your storytelling. We try to make our, maybe our laws sensitive, but it is through your 
through your teaching, you as teachers learning from the IP community, and the IP community learning from you, the secular education, the ABCD, that we can mutually synergize. As Saada said, we need to synergize oral and non-oral tradition. With our indigenous peoples is the oral history, oral architecture na hindi po mabibili. Iyan po ang inyong aming may iwan sa amin. Yung mga kwento ni mga batugan. I am a Maranao and I do not know my Maranao stories. So you, Tidurais, and all our indigenous to, uh, elders must tell us our stories. Kailangan po namin i-codify. Kaya po ang move towards tribal courts, tribal codification, and hopefully tribal education so that your stories can be told in written form and other children can benefit. Other Filipino children can see that only, not only Jose Rizal is our hero, but even from among you, a hero in the Filipino people. So with that, So with that, I stand in solidarity with the world's almost 300 million indigenous peoples. For your story is the story of uncolonized civilization and culture. From you we learn and from we nurture. I think climate change and disasters can be solved by you. Because of the commercialization na po ngayon, plastic ng plastic, trabaho ng trabaho, at pera na lang ng pera, ang measurement ng success. Maybe the indigenous learnings can teach us back to who we are, na hindi po kailangan dapat ang pera o posisyon para umangat. What we should value is love. What we should value is relationship. What we should value is stories. Stories born out of centuries of respect. Centuries of respect that we are slowly forgetting as young people, and it is danger of losing itself, ladies and gentlemen. So with you as teachers, with you as elders, you will tell us that this tribal education, mainstreaming education, is not alternative education. This is not alternative. This is rightfully Filipino indigenous education that deserves its place because you make us human and you make us a person. With that, mabuhay po at congratulations sa ating lahat.